Hello everyone, Brian here and in today's video, Alan and I took our new float tubes out to Aloha Pond for a spin for the first time. I'm really happy about how the shell and bladders fit in a small gym bag. Uh, if I had a larger duffel bag or maybe a baseball bag, I'm pretty sure everything that came with this combo would fit. Now you might ask, how long did it take us to inflate the tube? It only took us about 5 to 7 minutes in total to get all the bladders inflated. And it's not bad for an on the field setup. If we didn't have to put our waders and set up our rods, we would probably be on the water within 10 minutes or so. If you're using the fins that came with this combo, you might want to avoid this mistake. Stepping on one of the straps can be a disaster, so make sure you place your buckles on the outer side of your feet. Getting on the float tube for the first time was a bit challenging for me. You have to remember to always walk backwards after putting on your fins. If you point your toes down and walk forward, you're going to have a hard time. <laughs> How do you turn left, right? <laughs> I have no idea. How do you turn? I guess you spin. You just spin. Yeah, it's turning. Oh, it's like snowboarding. You spin. Nice. Let's go. Right, let's see how it launches uh, low two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> I I love it. Oh, there's fish right underneath us. <laughs> fish on. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are my thoughts on this uh, float tube? It's pretty awesome. I love it. Like it's windy right now and I'm, I'm not having any trouble at all. Fish are jumping in front of me, I just couldn't catch them. I hooked up once or twice, twice, but um, yeah, we'll see, you have a few more hours to fish. But so far so good. Fish on. Nice. Allen's on. Nice job. 
Damsel. Nice. You have the GoPro on? <laughs> First fish. Decent size. Huh? Come closer. <laughs> Got the only fish in the. I let it go. You let it go. Jumped already? out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Lively. You, huh? You got it in GoPro. About 10 inch. Nice. I don't know if I got it on GoPro, but it jumped out. <laughs> yeah, I need a net. <laughs> Overall review, it's pretty stable. Uh, really controllable. I didn't have a hard time controlling it, steering or anything. And I don't know how much wind we have right now. I think we have about 5, 10 kilometer wind. Kilometer per hour wind. One more thing I want to add is casting from the float tube is so easy but you have to remember to raise your arm a little bit more since you're low in the water. Alright boys and girls, that's the end of the day. So on top that one, push it out and then take this out. Don't hit your rod. <laughs> keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, that's it. guys I like it so far and uh, we're gonna catch more fish I'll catch more fish Alan caught one but he let it go before I took a picture <laughs> so yeah so far so good you should buy it all right boys and girls thank you for watching